Okay. We're gonna put a hero. We'll make it an Allen switchable guy, but don't worry, he won't be called that sooner or later. We'll put some teal marines. Now we wanted to create, now that we have those, we want to create a small cutscene that ensures after we see them. So what happens is we're going to use player one, since we're, since we're, since we are player one, we're players in this trigger, execute, we have to use player one. Hit next. We're going to go to new. And now we'll scroll down to the bring command. Player one has to bring this quality of at least one men to that location. To the location, rescue. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to have the game pop. We're going to have a the game's going to pause. So we create a pause game, and we're going to create a marine talking. We're going to create a marine talking for about five seconds. We're going to call the guy, uh, Terry. Probably about 12 seconds estimation. As a suggestion, if you're making a conversation, before the conversation resumes, you should put a wait command and you should up it one second, more, 1,000 second milliseconds more than the than the talking portrait. Sick of the Mario soundtrack, so we're gonna put something else on. We'll put the Assassin's Creed soundtrack on.
Alright. Now we're going to create a new objective. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put that to give the players a reminder that a new objective has popped up. We're going to type in. We're also going to create a switch. So we're going to... I'm going to give a sign. Switches are things that um, turn off and on certain objectives that normally... that turn off and on objectives. That turn off and on uh, certain things. For example, you go to this one location, and that turns on a switch, which then activates another objective or something nearby the nearby or far away from the area. I don't know, it all depends. On um, the set command shows you how the assigned trip sets the trigger on. Clear turns the trigger off. Toggle means it randomizes. If it's on, it's off. If it's off, it's on. And random means you won't know. For our case, we're gonna set. Because Terry could still be a, because the third AI could decide that Terry is a neutral trigger and decide to kill. If that's the case, and this whole thing will be messed up. So, you get this. Now, I'm not saying that you want to do this, but in case you want a, a trigger to continue to continue to move on, just let us sign the preserve trigger command at the end of it. That means that this trigger will always happen. You don't want that part. So we have our additional forces right there. And what now? Now, we want, to, we want to give ourselves a starting amount of resources, correct? And the enemy. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit player one. We're going to set another always command. <laughs> Excuse me again. And then we're going to hit set resources. Modify our resources for player one. We're going to hit set. When you hit an operation, set means that the number changes automatically to whatever number you find. Add means it will add that number. And subtract means it subtracts it. We're going to hit set. And the quantity is going to be 750. Resource is either oil, gas, or oil, and gas. We're going to want oil, and gas. Okay. Now we automatically at the beginning of the game start off with 754 and gas. So we got that. So we got that going on for us now. And the next thing is we want to have the trigger of what happens when Terry dies. Or our losing triggers. We get player one. Now, we want to use a command trigger. This means this will show us what happens. So we want to assign it that if we lose all our buildings, we die. Player one commands at most. Don't hit at least, because if you have at least zero, that means at least means that you need to make this quota in order for this trigger to happen. At most means you need to be you need to have that number or low or lower. And exactly means you need to have a specific amount. The exact amount. We want to have at least at most zero. When it comes to this unit thing, any unit means any unit on the field. Which means if we commanded at most zero units, we need that. Which means we have to have zero units in the field, and then we lose. Men means it only will count troops. Any unit will count buildings or troops. Men just counts the troops. Buildings will count our buildings. And factories count the uh, add-ons. You can also assign a specific unit. In our case, we want buildings. The next thing we do is we hit a defeat trigger. This defeat trigger means we lose the 